Minecraft SMPs have flooded the YouTube space ever since Life Studio merged back in 2022. There's hundreds of individual servers with their own special twists, packed to the brim with content creators with one simple goal, pushing Minecraft to the limits and getting as many views as possible. Servers such as the Infuse SMP have captivated millions of people based on the interesting twists that the server revolves around. However, the Infuse SMP couldn't stay clean of allegations with anything from faking videos to supposed doxing scandals from some of their most popular members. These allegations stuck all the way to the end of the server in February of 2024, and today I'm going to document it all. This is the full story of the Infuse SMP and why it ultimately ended. By the way, make sure you guys all like and subscribe as these videos take hours to make and I'm trying to pass up Taco Bell and subscribers. Also, this video is simply only made to document the story and drama that was caused around the Infuse SMP. I don't dislike or have any bad blood with any of the members of Infuse and this video is not made to hate or harass anyone. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Back in late 2022, two YouTubers by the name of Infamous JJ and Dione created a new Minecraft server called Infuse SMP. A fresh spin on the lifesteal concept, except if you kill a player, you get a positive effect, and if you die, you get a negative effect. On the Infuse SMP, whenever you die, you are granted a bad effect, but whenever you kill someone, you get a good effect. And since I had just died again, I had gained another bad effect. Infuse was a twist that many would consider to be even better than the lifesteal concepts because, well, it's way more unique. The server would begin the same as any other Minecraft SMP, where the players would form teams and start conflicts. Over time, Infuse would begin to grow massively. Many of the creators would reach crazy milestones from uploading videos on the server. Seven! Oh, no, three. One more! One more! Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> However, one thing seemed to be very interesting from the very start. When doing research for this video, every single upload on the Infuse SMP felt like a carbon copy of other videos I'd already seen. This is a common trend with SMP content, however, as most of the videos uploaded are completely unoriginal, and pretty much everyone who posts them are trying to ride the wave of success from others rather than innovating and creating new things. This is one reason why the Lifesteal SMP would blow up like it did. The lore behind every single arc on the server kept viewers on the edge of their seats to see what would happen in the next video. Not to mention that the lore on Lifesteal content would be extremely innovative and they would be the first people to create many trends in the SMP space. All the other servers that would show up, like Infuse, would be more known as places for creators to ride trends and make unoriginal content that we've already seen. Most of these servers would be seen more as a content farm and some viewers would become sick of it. On November 18th of 2023, a YouTuber by the name of Arctual CM posted a video about numerous members of the Infuse SMP using X-Ray to speed up their video making process. Arctual was a member of the Infuse SMP for a short amount of time in September of 2023 before being kicked shortly after. This was due to Arctual noticing some suspicious behavior regarding one of the videos posted on the Infuse SMP, and he questioned one of the members of the validity of it. The conversation would go as followed. Okay, so I I saw one video about breaking every rule on the server. There was a scene where they quote unquote duped, but their friend just used slash give to spawn in stuff. I don't want to sound critical, but like, what's up with that? Is that like an old thing? I think it was from season one. It's just confusing. These are the most honest people I know in the Minecraft YouTube community. They keep it real with you. Obviously, they exaggerate for videos. So what was the quote-unquote dupe? It's patched. They claim to have moved an item in and out of a chest after the original dupe failed. I know how the first dupe works, and it did work, and now it's patched. You can even see the item spawn on his entity as he does it. Nothing happens in his GUI. If all these allegations were true, that would mean that the video would have been completely faked. It makes sense that Archibald was questioning 
the other members of the Infuse SMP as if they did officially get exposed for faking their videos and using cheats, he wouldn't want to be grouped with them, especially since it seems like creating real content is something that is very important to him. Archwell would post a tweet a few days before the video would go public of a conversation between him and infamous JJ. This was about alleged x raying by the Infuse SMP members in numerous videos. This would put Infuse under fire, as like I stated previously, Archwell was a member of the SMP, which means that what he's saying could be true. However, it's impossible to actually tell as he or anyone could be lying. His argument was that x-raying in videos is cheating if you don't admit it to your viewers. It's especially apparent if you show mining montages in your videos, edging your viewers into a false perception that you got your items legit. However, as I was doing research on the Infuse SMP, I noticed that little to no videos show any sort of mining footage, which brings up the question if x-raying is even bad in this situation, since it's not like the creators were ever actually lying to their viewers using false perception. Faking videos wasn't the only thing that Infuse SMP would get exposed for, however, as a member of the server named Sharkills would be under fire in November of 2023, after people found out that he used to dox people for fun a couple years ago when he was only 13 years old. This was proven by a few leaked screenshots of Discord DMs from Sharkills saying things like, well whoever it is, it's about to be DDoS, I do doxing in my spare time, and go say whatever the hell you want about me, I already gave the IP address to multiple people, I honestly don't care if you try or even succeed in cancelling me. When questioned by another YouTuber, Sharkos would respond by saying, These screenshots were taken back in 2021, when I just turned 13. Me and some guy were beefing, and he said an IP. No idea if it was real or not. Me and some close friends at the time would make some jokes about it. I'm obviously not the same person, and am more mature now. I fully understand joking about IP leaks was completely wrong, and is something I'm ashamed of even pointing for fun at, which is why I've moved past it. Even though all these accusations are so public around social media sites like Twitter, Infuse SMP has tried their hardest to cover it up, trying to prevent any more drama from circulating around the SMP. Not only would he end up locking his Discord, but he would also seemingly remove a post that used to be on his Wikitubia page stating these allegations. Most people, however, would respond to this tweet with sympathy for Shark Hills, saying that it's something that he's matured from. The only issue with it this is that something as serious as doxing can't be taken as lightly as he just moved on. Sure, it was a mistake. However, this mistake could have significantly messed up someone else's life by adding danger to their personal and family safety. While I do understand that Shark Hills has changed as a person, taking accountability for his actions should have been the right thing to do in the situation by making a statement to his community, saying that what he did was wrong rather than trying to cover it up. Again, I'm not saying that Shark Hills is a bad person, and I'm sure he's a good guy, but in order to fully discuss the Infuse SMP, I had to bring up this controversy. Through the numerous controversies that have circulated around the Infuse SMP, they have continued to stay relevant on YouTube, making a total of three official seasons on the server in one OG season, which would last around only a month. Regardless, on February 17th of 2024, a tweet would be made from the official Infuse SMP Twitter account saying, Today we closed a huge chapter. There have been lots of ups and downs and we're thankful that it all happened. Was this due to the drama that surrounded the SMP, boredom from players, or was there an alternative? alternative reason. I don't know if we'll ever find out. Anyways, click the video on screen to see the problem with Prince Zam, and also subscribe and hit that bell for more documentaries just like this.